Hi guys, we're gonna make a hat today, or a cap uh, for babies. I'm going to use the zero to three months. Um, this is the cap that I am going to make. Um, this is the one that I had used. Probably about three-fourths of it. Depending on what um, do you want on it, or how big do you want it. And... Um, this is just the one that it goes with it which is the band this is gonna be different because the one that i had make already um i put a lining on it this is the one that i had made already it took me a while because it's hard for me to sew uh, the knit fabric uh, it needs to be the stretch wool is this way so what I did is that I doubled it instead of just single. But I think if I just surge it, the one that will really touch the baby's skin is this side right here, the band. So that's the one that I'm gonna probably gonna do it like this. But the one over here, I'm just gonna surge it. Um, I had a hard time as I said, sewing it because I'm not used to sewing knit fabric. Uh, this is the one I um, made already. <laughs> this one is just for fun. I made it the same fabric, the same. This one is, I think I used three to six on it because I don't want it to be too small. And I put a bunny ear. <laughs> just a fabric um, that I use on it. I kind of don't like it because I did not want to sew it right here. So I hand sew it, hand stitch it. So it's not that bad. I just need to clean it. But um, I think I don't want the ear bunny on it. Ear bunny. So that's the one that I have made already. So this one, I'm just, I have this knit fabric. The stretch is this way. I'm going to use this uh, template. I have four on it. And that will make probably about um, two hats if I don't double it. So just move it just for a little bit because you don't want the salvage on it. Maybe I'll just do it like this because i'm trying to see um or make sure that i don't waste too much fabric now this one you can get this one um on sale but this one is not on sale i bought this one in hobby lobby i was just you know um wanting to make one so i did never had any knit fabric i don't think now again i'm not gonna say never because i have so many stuff in my shed that i don't know if i have more in there or not so i'm just gonna do like this now some people like to do it on the rotary cutter you can go ahead and do that um i'm not comfortable with rotary cutter um doing with the probably straight line i can do that like if i make some um what is that um scrunchies but whenever there is a pattern on it um i don't want to use the rotary cutter the reason being for that is i know i'm not good at it so i will cut my my uh, what is this pattern there you go so this is the one that i have made dogs is looking for me 
so i'm gonna do like this um this is the one that um i'm probably gonna just do one one um just surge it around and then double the one on the band so we'll see we'll try this one because i already tried the other one um so we will try these and if it's good and you know it does it um it is good for your liking hey this is your creation but this is good for gifts baby showers you know you can do that um so all right so we're gonna cut two of these so as you know the 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 stretch is still this way right so and then this one just cut it like this just it fit like that it's just hor um what is that rectangle basically so we'll just cut this one for the band Just make sure that you have one side that is a folded one um, so that it's easy. You know. I really have a hard time cut, um, sewing this um, knit fabric. If you have a trick, let me know so that I can uh learn also <laughs> anyway so this is the one that i'm i'm using so let's search this one and let's um sew this one basically and then we'll go from there okay let's move to the sewing area it's gonna be loud okay so i'm going to uh fast forward it but you're not gonna hear the loud noise on it just music okay
to uh, just saw around the perimeters in the hat or the brim of the hat with a simple sewing. Um, as I said, this is the part that you always, you also have to be very careful and make sure that you take all the needles, okay? Um, because you don't want to get the baby get hurt on it. So I'm going to sew the parameters on it and then we'll, I'll show you the finished product. on the inside it's very clean and then the brim is not gonna hurt the baby right very secure so easy and simple way to uh, give this is for zero to three months and um, you can make Three to six months or six to twelve months, I believe. So make the one that you. it's just um, you just have to make a it's like a you know when you make a uh, what's that a tray what I did is that if you just put like this on the top um, you can have this half circle on top on it and if you fold it um that's actually it's very easy pattern that i have in there the third one that i'm gonna make is this is the hard one that i was making this is the one that i made i have made a couple basically is one of it is this one and then this one i just put different color on it this one right here um i kind of don't like it because on the top i did not want to have to sew it so i did a hand stitching on it but i don't know i don't like the bunny ears on it 
<laughs> but it's done so that's one and then of course this one now this one right here i did a double on it the reason being is um i was trying to see if i can do a reversible hat on it but it is for me it's time consuming and um a little bit harder for that uh this kind of pattern so i use this this is very easy it's still double if as you can see but it is quicker and easier and faster and all of the above so we can make <laughs>
So this is the first one that I make. And then the second one. And this is cute. And then the third one. So, um, or this one. These are the same. So, this one is the most easiest and fastest um, one that I had made. Also, you can decorate this one. You can make the pom-poms on it and put it on top of this one. That's decorations. Or with this right here, you can put um flowers or something um you can put put on this one right here you can put different uh band on the bottom on it like on the other side not on the other side but two fabrics on it um with that or you can just leave it um plain you can put bunny ears if you would like but again, I did not really like the bunny ears. Kind of cute, but it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> so with the three-fourths of a fabric, the one that I make is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still have like five in there. So you make um 14 or 15 of this uh kind of hat um and it's very easy good for to uh giveaways for christmas or um birthdays or just a thank you or a baby shower so you can get blue on this one you can get different kind of colors that printed ones um so i hope you enjoy the tutorial i know it's not really it's kind of everywhere <laughs> but um we'll get better we'll get better um as i said i i'm just doing uh it's i'm beginner so me and you is uh is on the same page if you are a beginner too so we will learn together so until next time, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Bye, guys.